And now we're going to get ready for the A final of this women's 100 butterfly. We got the 50 fly winner from last night, Caroline McTaggart of All Star Aquatics. There's the top qualifier. Let's set the field around her. In lane one is Zoe Avestruz from Aqua Jets. Lane two, Michaela Hinkle from St. Croix Swim Club. Lauren Case is in lane number three from Chattahoochee Gold. Lane four, Caroline McTaggart, All Star Aquatics. Lane five, Cassidy Bayer, Nation's Capital Swim Club, the first of three Nation's Capital swimmers. Lane six, her teammate Kylie Jordan. And lane seven is Leah Rogers to round out Nation's Capital swimmers. And lane eight, Kelly McNamara from Westmont Swim Club. So we got Lauren Case in three, Cassidy Bayer in five. They're the only two swimmers that have been under a minute in their lives. I have a feeling Caroline McTaggart might join them. We'll see how it goes here. This will be a very exciting 100 Butterfly A final. Cassidy Bear taking it out fast. Cassidy's known for a great 200 fly. If she takes it out fast, she can definitely hold on. And it's actually Lauren Case out first, 28.03. Cassidy Bear's coming on strong. Look at that kick. Cassidy doesn't know how to get tired, really, in a hunter fly. She just gets going about this point. Caroline McTaggart, Lauren Gold still hanging tough, though. Lauren Case winning the A final, the hunter fly, 10007. Cassidy Bear, 100.17. And Caroline McTaggart, 100.56. I really thought we were going to see that under one minute. All they needed to do is break 32, and they just couldn't get that, put that together. But still, a wonderful swim at this time of the season. Again, you've got to remember that these ladies aren't, haven't done much long course training or long course racing. Actually, probably none since last summer. So it's been really good preparation for them.